Hey there, it's Lauren, aka The Soap Witch, and it is time for Styling with The Soap Witch. So, in this video, I will be flat ironing my natural hair, trying not to freak out, and hopefully not ruining my curl pattern. <laughs> these are the products, <clears throat> sorry, these are the products I used. My new Whipped Wonder Whip Shampoo and my Twilight Tempest Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. These are not the only products I use, but they are the only products of mine that I used. So here we are starting out all natural. And I am thoroughly dousing my hair in water so that I can wash. So I really like for my hair to be thoroughly saturated. Saturated, what is wrong with my mouth today? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Um, before I shampoo. So I thoroughly wet it. I, you know, part it out and let the water get to my roots and then it, as soon as I st step out of the water I apply shampoo I don't give it any time to dry y'all know I'm high porosity my hair likes to act a fool so I did two washes this time washes oh my god because um, I like to make sure my hair is thoroughly clean before I straighten so I actually deep conditioned this time on Facebook live so you didn't see that there you just saw me rinsing it out and I let it dry a little bit before I blow dry because it's not from my understanding it's not really the best idea to blow dry soaking wet hair because it takes longer you have to use more heat use it longer so um, I don't let it all the way dry but I want it pretty damp um, and I use my microfiber towel that I got from where'd I get <laughs> I got it from somewhere deeper than hair.com um, it's a lovely towel. They have two colors, but I like the purple because it's bomb. Anyway, so on this one, I'm using, actually I used the same brush the last time. Um, I just didn't know what I was doing. So I'm taking smaller pieces, um, and I'm using this sort of rolled twist method, if you can kind of see it. I detangle each piece first. Um, to, it's real hard to try to blow dry, you know, tangly hair. So, um, and I'm just kind of using it and curving it. Um, and twisting it if you will I'm not trying to curl the hair but I feel like it gets it straighter when I do this technique because I didn't get it very straight at all last time it still looked like a bush <laughs> and um, so this time I did smaller parts and then I did this specific method and I really like the brush better because I don't have to fight with holding like a brush or a comb while also blow drying um, and even the one with the attachment that my hair yanks that stupid attachment off all the time and I just I'm like grr behind the camera y'all don't see that though because I delete that out anyway <laughs> so um, getting on to the front of the hair but as you can kind of see here maybe maybe not it's getting a lot straighter than the last time I did it which was November November sounds right um, so September I think it was November it does it doesn't matter it was last fall okay <laughs> So, I'm getting around to the front, um, and I'm still using this method, and sometimes I'll do like both sides, you know, of the hair, just to make sure I'm getting as straight as possible, all the way to the roots, because um, I want to try to get this, like, the last time I straightened it, I felt like I did a meh job, so I wanted to do better than a meh job this time, um, so I tried to get it just as straight as possible just on the blow dry because I feel like that helps um, and also allows me to take less time um, on the actual straightening straightening pressing type part so all done and uh, then what I did was I took uh, a st okay so before I actually blow dried forgot this part before I actually blow dried I um, used a uh, heat protectant also from deeperthanhair.com I put links to everything else that that are not my products I'm gonna put links to everything I use period my products and not my products <laughs> um, but um, it was a heat protectant from deeperthanhair.com I put that on before I blow dried and then I put this like skinny serum from I won't say Paul Mitchell did I make that person's name up it's somebody Mitchell I'm pretty sure the last name is Mitchell anyway I put that on just a small amount um, just before I straightened um, and then here I am just sectioning out. They keep talking about this chase method with this comb. I think I tried it the last time. I did it again this time just to see. I feel like maybe it's working the ends. All of it did get pretty straight um, when I was doing it. So in this, when I was straightening it this time, I also decided it, decided it. Like what am I even saying y'all? 
I also decided to do smaller parts here as well. I just felt like maybe it would give me overall better results. I I kind of went over it sort of fast-ish, faster than I see, you know, the professional types doing it. So I don't know, I may go slower next time or not. It makes me nervous, y'all. Like I won't have curls the next time I wash it. <laughs> So I kind of, I'm freaking out, not now, because I've watched it since then, the videos are about two weeks behind. Anywho, so um, I'm working my way through. Let me tell y'all, I was burning up. I had to put a fan there. <laughs> like It felt like it was about 8,000 degrees while I was trying to press this hair out. Um, but yeah, I had to put a fan there um, because yeah, I couldn't deal. I was sweating, that's Johnny didn't know, TMI, but you know, if your head, if your if scalp is sweating, how, how you gonna straighten your hair? It, it's counterproductive. Okay, so I was running out of, um, I don't know, camera space or battery or something. So I had to skip, I had to skip forward and this is the final results. And then here, this is the next day because I got it trimmed right after I finished it because them ends. And yeah, I was looking like, what's wrong with that? Cause it's all scrunched up and curly and stupid. Hoping the rest of my hair didn't do that, it didn't. So. As y'all can see, the final results are still pretty good, even, you know, the next day. Um, but yeah, I went and got that trim. That was the whole reason I even straightened it to begin with. But I went and got that trim. I was real excited. She hardly trimmed off anything. She said my hair was like lovely and soft and healthy. So I'm gonna go with that. I appreciate it. Thank you, Miss Stylist Lady, who trimmed my hair. So here we are. I'm feeling myself. You could tell. And then there'll be one last spin around and I'm gonna be done. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.